Hi, everybody. I am back with a brand new story, and it's Jumpstart's Read for the Record. Every year, Jumpstart picks another book um, around this time of the year to promote reading. And this year's book is Piper Chan Sings by Philippa Sue. Piper Chan Sings. This is Piper Chen. Piper loves to sing. She twirls through rooms. So she loves to sing. And you see her twirling around? Bounces up the stairs and hops foot to foot, always singing out of tune. She sings good morning to the peaking sun and good night to the cresting moon. She sings to the orange-chested robins whistling outside her window and to the chanting frogs in the faraway pond, and they sing back to her. So what does she like to do? Yeah, she likes to sing. She's pretty good at that. She loves it. She performs for her closest friends with Spotty on backup, always. She listens to Nana's homemade jazzu pop as they cook and hums with pleasure as she eats them. They're dumplings. She likes to eat those. She hears the world's rich sounds as she beats the rhythm and adds her voice to the orchestra. So what is she always doing? Yeah, she's always singing. She loves to sing. On a bright spring morning, Piper scoots to school, slapping her foot against the pavement and bopping her head to the beat. And when Miss Lopez takes attendance, Piper belts out. She says, she doesn't say it. She goes, here. She sings it. She practices her whistle when she colors and cuts, and she hums quietly while looking for the perfect book. So she's always either singing or humming. Train. See if you can see it. So she loves to do that. In her favorite class, Piper stands tall and is focused. She feels the chorus of the voices vibrating with her. And when the class takes a break, Mr. Harris asks Piper if she wants to sing along on one of the solos in the spring sing. And Piper lets her excitement answer. So that's her teacher. And he says, Piper, would you like to sing a solo? And how do you think that makes her feel? Yeah, she's super excited for that. So she can't wait to sing a solo. And she's like, yes, but she's so excited she gets to do a solo. And when they start practicing, something doesn't feel right. Piper's suddenly frozen and she can only sing in a worried whisper. So when they start practicing, when they have rehearsals, she can't sing. All of a sudden she freezes up. If you feel nervous, Piper, that's normal. Mr. Harris assures her, you have the choice to sing a solo or sing with the class. Just tell me what you decide next time we meet. So do you think she's getting a little nervous about singing? solo yeah so all of a sudden it's not right to her and when piper returns home from school that day she does not twirl through the rooms she doesn't bounce up the stairs or hop foot to foot she's not singing how does she feel is she happy no she's sad why is she so sad Right, because she got the solo in which then she was happy, but she wasn't able to do it. And now she's really sad. She's not happy. Usually she's twirling around and she's bounced. Usually she's super happy and she's singing everywhere. And now she's just sad because she can't do the solo. 
Listening to the tune from Nanai's piano, Piper does not hum along. She does not sing one note. Nanai is sitting up at the piano bench, and she often does, one foot resting on the pedal, never wiggling or even rattling her teacup. She starts playing her favorite song. Piper, I know you're there, but you aren't singing. So she's like, how come you're not singing along? Because usually she's singing and it's her favorite song. Piper cl climbs next to Nina and tells her about the solo. What if I forget the words? What if I sound like a frog? And when we practiced, I felt like butterflies were having a dance party in my belly. What does that mean? Are there butterflies in her belly? No, that's figurative language. It's an expression. I mean, she's really nervous. When she was about to sing for her solo, she, her stomach didn't feel quite right. She was getting really nervous. Nane pauses her playing and smiles. Hudi, she says to Piper. What is Hudi, says Piper. It's a Chinese word for butterfly, answers Nane. I remember being your age. The very first time I touched piano keys, playing along to the rain's beat against the window, Nine plays the keys to sound like raindrops, and Piper giggles. Before my first piano recital, the butterflies danced in me too. Go away, Hoodie, I begged, but they just flew faster. They would only settle once I began to play. So she's telling her that she was nervous too when she had her piano recital. She got nervous and she felt like she had butterflies in her stomach and she wasn't able to do it, but then she started playing and she felt better. Has it happened to you? Have you ever gotten ner nervous to do something? Like it could be perform like singing, playing an instrument, uh, sports, doing even like doing a presentation in your class, like something you have to do in your classroom. Have you guys ever got nervous before? Yeah. Well, that's how she feels. She's pretty nervous about this. Eventually, I realized the butterflies visited to tell me, and when something was excited was about to happen, they flapped fast when I left China and traveled to America, and I felt them fluttering the day I graduated from music school. So we all have our butterflies. We all get nervous about something. I get nervous about a lot of things. Once I have to do something, I get nervous about it. They flew through me when I married your Yi and hovered over us when we brought your father home for the first time. And they twirled unstoppably and the day became a U.S. citizen. So she came here from China and she was, that was a very nervous thing to do. I know a lot of you have come from a different country, right? So you were probably nervous when you came to, to the United States from another country. That probably made you nervous. Now when they greet me, I greet them back. Hello, Hootie. Ni hao. Piper, do you want to sing the solo? Piper blinks and thinks and nods. Naeem resumes playing their favorite song, and Piper finally sings along. So this is her grandmother, and her grandmother makes her feel better. Her grandmother makes her say, her grandmother is telling her that you know what? I was nervous too. I was nervous all these different things coming to this country, graduating, playing a piano recital. All these things made me nervous, but I got through them and now I welcome the butterflies. Now it's okay when I get nervous. And that made Piper feel better. And now Piper feels better and she's able to sing. She's not nervous anymore. Weeks later on the night of the show, Piper feels the butterflies flapping their wings and flying side to side. All right, they're about to do the show. Maybe you guys had a gymnastics or a dance competition or a show, anything, and you've gotten really, really, really nervous about it. Well, that's how she feels. She feels really nervous, but she's about ready to do the show. And there she is. You see how nervous she is? And when it's her class's turn to sing, they walk out slowly. Piper sees the spotlight shining like the bright, welcoming sun and its reflection on stage like the inviting moon. 
and she hums to herself. She says, hello, Hootie. She's welcoming the butterflies. She's embracing it. Rather than fighting the butterflies that you got in your stomach, she's going to, she's going to say hi to them. Piper steps into the glow. The butterflies rest and she sings. She sings like she sings to her stuffed animals and Spotty the dog. The sun and the moon and the stars, the trees and the birds and the frogs. She sings because she loves to sing. And her love is alive in that moment, fluttering through her, her family and friends and her loving Nine Nine fluttering up and onto the world. And she was able to sing. She welcomed the butterflies. And that was Piper Chen Sings. I hope you enjoyed that story. Don't forget to like and subscribe. And I hope you enjoyed it. And we are celebrating Jumpstart's Read for the Record. Thank you, everyone.